Baha'u'llah to me, like he is the you know, manifestation of God for today and it's something awe-inspiring and very sort of powerful saying prayers. I felt almost awestruck at first because Baha'u'llah really represents something far beyond any sort of spiritual experience that I'd had ever before in my life. Uh, and for me being brought up, you know, it was always us and them and uh, so to think that there was a, something that was connecting all religions, it was a real epiphany for me. Not only are we propagating unity, but we have tools to do that, is through some activities which we call community building activities that produce communities that are favouring creativity, they're favouring um, participation by everyone. There's a room for everybody, man, woman, youth, junior youth, children, inside these communities. And these four activities are of course the devotional meetings, the um, children's classes, the spiritual empowerment of junior youth between 12 and 15, and the educational program for youth and adults, which we call study circles, which um, give you an awareness of your spiritual capacities and develop your skills and your capacities for service to others. A practical way that we're applying Baha'u'llah's revelation in our communities and neighbourhoods is through an educational process which starts at a young age, around five or six, and goes on through adulthood. We see children as a mine rich in gems, and this is a very important aspect, because children we see as a very important part of the community building process. They're active participants, and they um, have spiritual qualities which are innate in them. Yeah, so like, at the age of 12, um, you know, young people like leave childhood behind and they enter this new and very exciting like phase of their, their life. Um, it's early adolescence and the junior program like tends to this age group between the ages of like 12 and, and 15. And yeah, this, this stage of, of one's life is, um, everything is so new and like fascinating because, you know, now they're, they're conscious of like new powers that they might not have been conscious of when they were children. I think as they, they participate in the junior youth group and as they like did projects that like help the community, I think it's just understanding that like to see like meaningful change and transformation, it requires like universal participation. And really like I think it's just helping a lot of people see that like young people have all this talent and capacity. The Baha'i House of Worship here in Sydney has really come to symbolise and embody those principles that are at the heart of the Baha'i faith and that being the oneness of religion and the oneness of humanity where everyone feels that they are a part of one human family and inhabitants of one common homeland, you know, our earth and really share in that vision towards contributing to the betterment of society. A weekly service at the Baha'i House of Worship is really an opportunity for people of any faith or of no faith to come together to reflect or to pray and meditate in an atmosphere of devotion. Consistent with the devotional character one finds in a community or a neighbourhood, the collective spirit that's generated here at the House of Worship infuses and inspires countless people to imbue their lives with selfless service. Baha'u'llah's revelation has inspired many people in Australia and around the globe to contribute to the betterment of society and realise its noblest aspirations.